This was a run that I put together after my brother and I had scouted this trail about two weeks earlier. Constellation Road is a trail that you pick up right before you go across the bridge into Wickenburg. We had two vehicles today making the run. We had Sean and his wife. We had Frank Erinchy and his wife. Riding shotgun with me was Ruthie as she felt better riding than driving her Compass Trailhawk. The first mine that we're going to come to today of the three we're going to see is Monte Crisco. Couldn't have asked for a better day. The temperatures were in the mid-60s when we started. As we climbed into the mountains, the road becomes like a shelf road and the scenery becomes unbelievable. There's also smaller ruins of less significant mines of days gone by. The first mine we're going to see of the three today will be Monte Crisco, and we're getting close. As you can see here in just a minute, it looks like I'm drunk carrying this handheld GoPro. It looks like I'm wobbling back and forth, but it's actually my hand moving. The other one. I'll give I'll give that I'll give that gate about uh, I'll give that gate about three weeks. And then you're gonna what? You're gonna bust it up? No. <laughs> He's got guys like that. They got bolt cutters. They'll cut that damn lock off their fast. <laughs> Those, those rails you see going up on top of those, those two rails coming down, that goes right down into a big, big pit, oh. big shaft. Pretty interesting to see. I can't believe we had to walk through. When we got to Monte Crisco, we found they put a cable up blocking the road coming in. Wasn't too bad of a walk, so we walked in, started taking the snapshots, checking out the mine. <laughs> yeah. This is where they pull the cars on those rails up out of the mine to dump the ore. What do you think, Ruthie? Be in the middle of nowhere. Well, you talk about the middle of nowhere. You think back when they were actually here doing it, it was in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, back in the early 1900s, late 1800s, you know. Most of the stuff they brought in and out of here was probably in horse and buggy and wagons, you know. You could tell they had put a lot of work into this with that concrete right there and all the stuff that they built around there. This was a pretty good sized operation. Well, it was time to get on to the next mine. This was where Frank and his wife turned around and headed back. She was having a little bit of problem with the ledge roads that we'd run as we was going up to the top of some of these mountains. The next two mines are on the back side of those mountains out there in front of us. When we get to this other mine, we got us a treat. We got to see some cowboys coming up from the mine. They'd been down there up some of the canyons looking for cattle. Those are sure some good looking horses. Same to you. Yeah, there's a big old nest up there. We never noticed that when my brother and I was out here. Shaft on this mine is really deep. That is a long ways down. Go over here and throw a rock in it. <laughs> Listen to how long it takes to go to the bottom.
Is that deep? <laughs> this is where you bring bodies. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they were. Yeah. Hey, big old nest up here on top. Did you see that? Yeah. I don't know, is it an eagle nest or a hawk or something? Just beautiful out there. Well, it's about time to get ready and head to the next one. It's a little bit different setup. With the next mine being a little bit off the trail, we actually drove down into this one. When my brother was here, we walked in. Pretty neat, huh, Ruthie? What do you see these two up here? All the time I was here, I was thinking about Brian's boys, how they would love this. It's pretty neat, huh? Not sure what that ladder was for, unless it was a shaft way back in there that they put that in to climb up out of. Well, it was time to get on down the mountain where we were going to have lunch and also check out some other old buildings. There wasn't a lot of room to turn around down there, so Sean, he just backed out. When you get down the mountain, you're greeted by these two little guys that are sitting in lawn chairs. Pretty cute, huh? Yeah. Goodness knows how old these buildings are. They look like they probably were built in the 40s or the 50s. You could tell when you got inside them, though. They hadn't been lived in a long time. They were pretty trashed. With all that tubing laying on the ground there, it looks like someone is trying to do something with it. Sitting up here in this shade and everything probably makes it a lot cooler in the summertime. See some light over there, probably leaks of rain in here at times. But that tin, you got tin all the way across the top. Should do pretty good. Then you got the cellar in back. Okay, it goes back into the hill. That's where they kept the stuff cool at.
pretty neat, huh? This is your picture upper right here. All in all, it was really a fun run. It seen a lot of beautiful scenery, explored some nice places. It's just another great day in Arizona. Yeah.